Hi everyone and welcome back. Today's build is focusing on the newly updated Touch Malice and how you can make a near unstoppable build with it via a Banner of War aspect. I plan to cover more Malice builds as I have saved some previous builds before the update went out. We can finally use the weapon that is for this now, while potentially opening the way for more final round setups that are both fun and cheesy to use. Today's one is off meta, but also viable for endgame as well. To start, you're going to want to have Dragner's Lash, where using your class ability will produce a suspending wave to targets that will damage and suspend them. You'll then want Banner of War, where defeating a target with midi, sword or finisher raises a banner that will continuously heal you and your allies within its radius. Defeating targets will also increase the pulse rate, but also getting a melee and sword buff. Utilizing Dragner's Lash with a Bayon Leap is a no-brainer with how powerful spend is. Although duration has now been nerfed, its overall effectiveness is still there and can be replicated multiple times with how fast it can regenerate itself. Applying this with Touch of Malice makes it easier for us to build up Light of Darkness, while also making it safer to apply Banner of War and Rover Mail to the entirety of our characters. Looking to the fragments, we have Thread of Fury, where damaging targets with Tangle grants melee energy. Thread of Transmutation, while you have Woven Mail, Weapon Finder Blows will create Tangle. Thread of Mind, where defeating suspended targets grant Glazability energy. And Thread of Continuity, where Suspend, Unravel and Sever effects duration are extended. Making use of the Suspend and Woven Mail effect will allow our build to be a powerhouse in one area, but also a team supporter in another. Ideally, making use of these suspended targets allows our Touch of Malice an easier time to land precision hits, and then build up the Blight of Darkness for a full blinding effect. This, however, isn't the main reason to use the weapon with the setup. Truthfully, the final round perk of the weapon is extremely strong against bosses, with easy to hit crit spots. With the right setup and power provided, you can in theory avoid using your heavy at all times and just rely on the weapon alone as long as you land the given shots, of course. For the mods and stats section, Resilience, Discipline and Strength will play a big part within the build itself. Resilience at tier 9 will grant us a 27% damage reduction on top of the Woven Mail damage reduction as well. With the two combined, you will get a 70.8% damage reduction, making you and your team more tanky to incoming attacks. This allows us to get our Valley Barricade back up within 25 seconds as well, which will be useful when using our Suspend abilities. Your discipline should be around tier 7 with front of focus applied so we can reach a tier 10 overall. Using suspend grenades with a cooldown, this will grant us a minute 16 grenade cooldown at tier 10, which is high on its own emission, but with a bayonet leap being applied as well, we don't need to worry about missing opportunities to suspend targets. We don't have the threat of generation fragment to help us out even more here, but additionally this is not required as we have two ways of creating suspend. This is the same with Strength being at tier 7 with Font of Viga being applied. We only have the outreach for the mod being used for that stat, but at the same time, Thread of Fury being applied does give us a near instant mini charge if an enemy is defeated by Tangle upon impact. Now, additional armor charge mods to have, such as Charged Up, will give you a plus 1 to your current armor stacks. Next, Connect Cypher mod with a powerful attraction mod will allow you to create orbs of power fairly fast but at the same time also being able to collect them quite fast as well. Next, add the Connect Surge mod for a 17% damage buff, and the Time Dilation mod will enhance our weapon's performance for longer, and lastly, having the Dynamo mod for getting Super Edgy back via class ability will be useful in the long run. For weapons, I have Touch of Malice with its newly reworked perks. For those not aware, the weapon has received a number of buffs allowing you to use the weapon effectively even more. From health drain giving you more points back, less health being taken off you, to not dying from the final round anymore. The weapon has opened up for a number of potential builds, ideas, for the near future. Applying the rework with Banner of War, this allows us to always stay alive without the need of additional healing factor such as Devour or Restoration from other classes. On top of that, even without the healing evolve, the weapon can support the user thanks to the increased health feedback you get when netting multiple kills. It's generally a better weapon to use now compared to before, and though those risks have been lowered, it still has the potential to end players' run if you do mess up. Heavy is flexible for the user to pick here and won't overall affect the final standing with the build. However, 
Korak's Distress with Hatcheting and Envious Assassin is a powerful combo that pairs well with any build that uses a spend as their main abilities. Outside of that, Circular Logic is a good weapon to go for if you can't access the raid weapon, but also you want something that can cover multiple areas of needs. With the newly updated Touch of Malice and Banner of War aspect now in play, we are able to combine the best of both worlds in terms of applying high precision damage and extraordinary healing factor. Additionally, Touch of Malice has lost the ability to kill its owner upon its final round, where instead, it will reduce your health down to 1 HP. This, along with Banner of War healing factor and continuous usage of the healing factor via kills, allows the player to fully maximize the exotic effect on a grand scale. Precision damage is now vastly increased, which can one-shot many minor enemies, while yellow and above will take less hits compared to before. While there, we can make our lives even more easier with land precision hits by using a Bayer Leap effect to not only suspend targets, but also land us extra damage protection from woven mail. All of this in one creates a much better experience for players who want to use Touch of Malice but never really had the pull to do so. I love the Touch of Malice from its design and unique health trade off for more power in the making. But when it comes down to builds, you are severely limited to what you can achieve. This may be the case still in some areas, but at least now, one of the major downsides of the weapon has been rectified. Funny enough, I can see this loadout being useful in raids and massive content if you always add clearing support, as simply building up Ball of Darkness effect from a weapon and then applying Wither Melt and Banner War healing to a team pretty much makes them invulnerable in some cases. Overall, this killer combo is as much viable as a lot of base champ builds we are used to, but the power of touch of malice at its fullest can pay sway to some uniqueness for future builds. But what do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared then please leave a comment below, but at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like or sub by here. I will leave a dim link for the build below. If you want more stuff like this, then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.